All right, so the coin we are covering today is a Comey, which is one of the most exciting and promising NFT projects out there. And it's up almost 100% since we last covered it just over a week ago. Today, as we record this episode, we are trading at 0 0.0038 cents per token, down about 19% on the day with a market cap of only $633 million, which puts it as the 217th largest project by market cap on CMC. Almost said CNBC, not quite there yet, but uh, CMC coin market cap. Uh, so just no respect for Akomi. They're, they're kind of like the Rodney Dangerfield of crypto projects right now. Uh, they just have so much traction and positive momentum uh, for this project, but the price stays relatively stagnant. I mean, we go up and down, but you know, no, no huge pumps of, of late, um, which I think is good for, for long-term holders. Um, and, you know, we have the big move from GoChain to Ethereum coming up, which I think should be a big catalyst for them in the mid to short term. However, not financial advice. Uh, we also have a huge uh, Ghostbusters, Ghost Trap, NFT drop coming up tomorrow, July 8th at 8 a.m. Pacific Coast time. So be on the lookout for that. They tend to sell out within seconds, so good luck there if you're if you're trying to get a hold of that one. Um, but the amount of big name, just mega franchise licensing deals Sal Khan and his team have put together is absolutely astounding. From Marvel to Ghostbusters, back to the future, I mean, the list goes on. There's no other NFT project in the space that is even close to the amount of IP they have already signed on at this point. Sal Khan, for those of you who are not familiar with him, he's kind of like the Michael Jordan of toys and collectibles licensing. He he brought Pokemon to the world uh, when he acquired the rights to a little known game called Pocket Monsters that he then rebranded to Pokemon and the rest is kind of history from there. Uh, he also brought on car, uh, Garbage Pail Kids, Cabbage Patch Kids, uh, to the market and just a ton of other huge hits that completely ate the world. Essentially every crazy popular toy that parents beat each other up at at Toys R Us back in the day, <laughs> you would see those on the news when when those mega fads would just go nuts. Um, but yeah, suffice it to say, Sal has mega major respect and street cred with every big Hollywood studio and can get a meeting with the head of any major rights holder or producer that he wants with a single phone call. Uh, they've already worked with and have had successful launches with Gavinci, DC Comet, or DC Comics, uh, Batman, Superman, Ghostbusters, like we mentioned before, uh, Powderpuff Girls. Uh, I mean, the VV app is absolutely exploding right now in popularity, and the revenue numbers have already well surpassed where the team thought they would be at this point. Um, I think, and this is not financial advice, but I think the biggest thing holding them back right now is the availability on exchanges. But with the move to Ethereum, uh, that will definitely help with that. Not being an ERC-20 token right now is, is really holding them back as they are only available on Bitforex, Uniswap, and Ascendix, and uh, I think uh, Gate.io as well. Uh, but once may, they make that successful move off GoChain, look for that to be a big catalyst up potentially. Uh, I mean, for, for all they have going for them right now, they are only the 14th largest NFT project by market cap, which is absolutely nuts. Um, so Akomi is, is right now our number one pick um, overall for the most undervalued project. And that's not undervalued just in the NFT space, that's overall. Uh, but yeah, we're very bullish on Akomi and where they're going and, and their potential. We think that the the NFT kind of theme and narrative is going to be big in the next two to three months. Uh, and we think IP uh, specifically is going to be a very big theme um, as well within NFT. Uh, so there's Akomi is really by far the leader, I think, you know, in the NFT space, but especially with IP. So I think as, as more and more of these uh, platforms proliferate and, and they have more issues with, you know, IP and, and uh, you know, artists not getting their representation, I think a Comey will, will stand out um, um, from the other platforms. But, but yeah, I, I think it's just a huge, huge missed opportunity for anyone who's not at least looking at a Comey, um, obviously not a financial advisor, but being the 14th largest NFT project and having really, in my opinion, the most traction right now um, puts them in, in a very, very nice spot to be 
be kind of one of those undervalued gems. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think of a Comey, where you guys think it's going from here, your price predictions, uh, what you think of Salcon and the traction they've gotten so far. And let us know of any other NFT projects that are kind of on your radar, because uh, as we see the NFT space starting to heat up once again, um, uh, we're going to start covering more of these projects and, and try to find some of those hidden gems for you. So if there's anyone that's on your radar, uh, shoot a comment down below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, if you're watching on the uh, Spotify or iTunes, give us a, a review if you could. A five star would definitely help the cause. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the YouTube. Um, give us a like if you could. Any any little bit helps. And uh, yeah, and if you want to check out BlockFi, check out the link down below. Uh, you get up to, I think, like $250 in free Bitcoin with with a deposit of, I think, 100 or more. But uh, check the details out there. But we, we like BlockFi. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of babbling at this point. So I'm going to hit stop recording. But we will be back tomorrow with another coin analysis for you. Bye-bye.